All right, so here we go. We've got the uh, Walker robot pretty much up and running. I've got it plugged into the wall right now. Uh, it'll operate off of the 9-volt battery that's up on its front, but uh, for testing purposes, it's going to be on its leash. Uh, it seems to eat up the 9-volt battery in a matter of a minute or two. Um, so I can show you what we've got on here is a uh, small breakout board with the um, on the front. That black thing is the... Uh, infrared receiver and the two red LEDs on either side. Uh, it's just zip tied on there and then the speaker on the side. Uh, what I have for it here is a uh, universal remote control um, that the infrared receiver on the front of it picks up and so I'm able to send commands through it uh, by this. Um, I've got a serial input into the computer and I'm able to uh, define what the different actions are for the different codes uh, that are sent to it. So for example um, very simply, we can turn on his lights, um, and they're blinking. We can uh, set them to either permanently on or off, depending on when we turn off the cycle. So, see if we can keep them on there. Um, it's able to move forward. So, press the forward button, it starts going. Then we have uh, back. And he'll turn around. Now, I don't need to be pointed directly at the infrared receiver, uh, just like your TV, as long as it's more or less in the same direction work all right so we can push there for stop um, I've got uh, don't have left and right working because he's not very complicated mechanics but if I push the left it has a little cute little shimmy walk a little faster uh, shorter steps and uh, moving back a little bit here and then I've also got a run run speed as well so I'll really take off there. So hopefully develop a little bit different feet for him so he can uh, move a little bit easier. But um, So that's all the motions it's got. Uh, I'll show you the, the sound. We'll hit stop and <laughs> he's able to scream a little bit, a little digital noise. And I've got it running on a random seed so it actually controls the length of the growl or whatever to be different uh, each time it's pressed. It's quite a long one there. And uh, it's actually interrupt driven, so you can play the sound at the same time it's moving, but it doesn't really have the clock speed to be able to support that. Uh, so server uh, smoothing control as well as sound at the same time is not going to happen. No, not until I get a faster processor for this thing, but I'm probably not interested in that. So anyways, here we go. we got our walker, remote controlled, blinking lights, and sound. So there you go.